Hey, 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 the folks, this is Goonie XI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Another Code. This is episode 21. In the last episode, we finally found Matthew. Uh, we've sort of started getting his character together and everything. He's a perpetual liar as far as we know. Hey, Rat, come back. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we saved him for a while anyway. And he told us the bag he stole for a woman, who knows if that's true, and put it in the boathouse. And Matthew. we might as well head back to the boathouse now then. You could go to Dad's place, but we'll check out the boathouse on the way back. Even though the one... Was she a scientist? Uh, she told us not to go there, but... I think it might be worth visiting. What was it the clock tower she said not to go to? <laughs> I can't remember. Ah. Ooh, hello. Yo, Ashley. Hey. I'm sorry about earlier. No worries. I'm already over it. Thanks for being cool about it. Did you find the music player? No, not yet. I hope you find it soon. Hello. You were at the camp earlier, weren't you? I forget your name. Janet. I'm Ashley, right? I heard from Tommy. So you got into a fight with Elizabeth, huh? I got angry and said some stuff. Probably went too far, though. Don't worry. She's always that way. Oh. But getting into a fight the first time you meet her? That's brave. I thought the same thing. You're both friends with Elizabeth, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. You're thinking, how are they friends with someone like that? Almost word for word. Well, we know the real Elizabeth. She's really talented. Plus, she's got a great taste in music and killer style. That's why the three of us started a band together. And we entered our band into a contest. Yeah! What do you two play? I play guitar. Janet's on drums. What about Elizabeth? Keyboard and vocals. We're really just doing it for fun, though. Not true. You play guitar like a rock star. The girls that come to our shows all swoon over Tommy. <laughs> oh, come on, knock it off. So what's this contest you're in? Is it the Big Deal Band Contest? That's it, yeah. That contest is the quickest way to get a recording contract. You want to get signed? Of course. Oh, uh, so these two are going to be in the contest too, but so is Elizabeth. I play guitar too. Oh yeah? Right on. No wonder you knew about the contest. You want to play with us sometime, Ashley? I left my guitar at home. But sure, if I get a chance. Looking forward to it. Hey, sorry. We got to get going. Practice time, you know? See you later, Ashley. See ya. Bye. Well, Thanks Janet practice. seems nicer. I'd love to be able to play my guitar right now. Yeah. Okie doke. <laughs> Guest house to the right, that's where we came from, so it's got to be this way. This is the boat house, right? So that's the boathouse. Hmm? Huh? That's Matthew. What's he doing hanging around here? What are you doing here? Ashley! I hid your bag right here. But now it's missing. What? I promised that lady I'd give her the bag tonight. She was gonna tell me about my dad. She tricked me. She was lying to me from the start. I'm sorry for losing your bag. No, for stealing it, then losing it. Oh, an apology. How you've grown since last we spoke. Well, you did rescue me and all, so I wanted to return your bag. I was a little harsh on you earlier. I'm sorry. I should have listened to what you had to say. You're saying you believe me? There could be some truth to it. I'm not like everyone else. But maybe I'm not as mature as I'd like to think either. <sighs> Thanks, Ashley. I'm sorry. But I did lie. My dad did go missing five years ago. That part's true. There are people who choose to disappear, I know. But not my dad. Something happened to him. I waited by the door for him every day. Even when it started to make my mom mad. And then one day, she got so mad she started yelling. 
and then she burst into tears. That's when I finally decided to give it up. But then she got sick. She was admitted to the hospital. Uh, it's okay. After she died, all I wanted was to see my dad again. So I decided to come look for him. I get it, Matthew. I really do. I'm going to find him, no matter what. I know how you feel, but it's still not okay to run away from home. Your uncle must be worried. You should call him. I know. I just need a little more time. I'm so close to finding something that will lead to my dad. I mean, I already found that guy in the sunglasses. Is that who you saw while you were hiding? He's behind it all. I just know it. He's been snooping all around like Juliet. He's gotta be working with the lady who had me steal your bag. Oh, uh, what? He must be. He's so suspicious. This boathouse is the only place I didn't search last year. That guy's going around covering his tracks. Are you for real right now? My dad built this boathouse, so I'm gonna take a look around inside. By yourself? No, no, no. That guy might be in there. Uh... What? Hmm. If you're so worried about me, you could always tag along. You're not leaving me much choice, are you? It's not like Dad needs his hat right this minute. Okay. Fine. I'll search the boathouse with you. But then I'm done. Great! Thanks, Ashley. Let's go have a look. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go have a gander. Can we actually get in through the front door? Locked. Figures. What do we do? Hmm. Maybe my key card. No good. There must be some way in. The Rass. Maybe. Okay, it's just like what happened back at the guest house. She's got a skeleton key. Enter the key. Mm. Why are. Uh... Oh, what? I pressed it. Left, L, Y. Ah, oh, hold it down because there's a circle. Okay, okay. I didn't realize. Alright. It opened. Now, let's search the boathouse. Wow, that's a handy little device. What is it? Apparently my mom made it. She was a scientist. Whoa, really? Yeah, but on the night of my third birthday, someone shot her while trying to steal her research. She died. Seriously? Real twist ending, huh? I'm sorry. Okay. I don't think there was anything to find in here, as in a, a crane, was there? All right. Okay, let's have a little look around then. See if we can help out little Matthew. Huh. Six. Oh, I, I doubt people would be hmm? um, drowning every day in a small place like. I don't know. Huh. Corkboard. Mm -hmm. Notebook. Mm -hmm. Looks like a notebook for mansion reservations. Okay, nothing much there. Couple of doors mm -hmm. into different rooms. I don't want to go through until. Ooh. Oh my god, that's a giant fish. Have you seen those ones? They look like that, but they sing and move. <laughs> I can imagine if I had one that big, it'd be creepy as shit. Pamphlets, corkboard, another one. Fishing poster. Huh. Used to be a fishing place. Well, it makes sense. 1999's 26th lottery. Ashley. This is my dad. Crazy rich. Amazing. See, there was some truth to it. The winning numbers were just the numbers that spell my name on a phone, then my age. Incredible that these numbers worked. I guess they're all my lucky numbers now. I guess they are. Some visitors, landed some real lunkers, I'll be back next year. Yeah. 
double check anything else around here. I don't think. I think we've checked everything, have we? Boop. Huh. Salmon and rice. <laughs> well, that's just sushi, right? Um. Says how many people are allowed on a boat. Okay, that's a big old piece of paper for saying this many people. Piece of paper pinned to the bulletin board. It's a list of winning lottery numbers from 1999, from the 21st lottery round to the 30th. Huh. Lottery ticket looks old. Hmm. Cleaning service 9am, trash pickup for Fridays. No. Oh, the Loch Ness Monster! Sea Serpent in Lake Juliet. <laughs> Not quite Loch Ness. Huh? Shadow looms large on the lake. What? Sea serpents? Seriously? No, I am believing that. Good on you for not being naive. Okay then, let's go into this room, is it? Stowed boats. Hmm? Yeah, that would be why it's called a boathouse. <laughs> huh? One being repaired. Life boy. Hmm? Is this for emergencies or something? It could be. Um. Okay, nothing much. Look at that boat, it really stands out. The little fisherman on the front. <gasps> Is that a reference to the first game? That's uh... It is, and it's the captain. Well, it reminds me of it. I think it might be. Okay, nothing much in here. There was another door that we haven't tried yet, wasn't there? We'll go there next. Like I said before, the loading times will let this game down a little bit. Because they are a decent length, but then spoilt by PS5, I think. Where loading times are basically non existent. So this is where it lets out. The air is so fresh. And what a view! Wow, no kidding! That's right. I was here with Mom. Ashley? Ashley? Huh? Check it out! There's something in the water! What in the world is it? <coughs> huh? Is that a briefcase? I wonder where it came from. Oh. That looks just like the briefcase my dad used to use. Oh, hey. We should drag it in and see what's inside. Mm. Uh, we need some kind of tool. An invite from Whisper 6. Huh. Yeah. On the Game Boy Advance games. I haven't downloaded that or anything, but... Okay. Mm. How can we do it? Can we not just... I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? It's a shutter over there. Is it something to do with that? Or we saw fishing rods inside. So, through the two doors. Two lots of loading screens. You can't get much more fun than that. Maybe. It didn't say we couldn't come back in the house. Normally this game, it seems to lock us out of like... Or lock us into a room if we're doing stuff and then we're not meant to leave. It says things like... Um, ah, oh, here we go. It says things like, we still got stuff to look at in this room, or, you know, something. Can I not grab the... There we go. This is no good. Oh, it's broken. Ah, oh, that was my big idea gone. Ah, no good. Too heavy to throw. RC boat. Oh. Oh, <gasps> this can be fun. I don't think it's anything else here. Yeah. Cabo box. Mm. 
No, I'll do. Let's head back out, try and get our briefcase. The mysteries are building. <laughs> To the pier. It's funny how it's two different items though, the remote control and the, the boat. Like you'd think it would just be the same item kind of thing. Alright, anyways. Boat. All right. Aha. Use the RC boat to drag the briefcase floating in the lake all the way to the pier. You can operate the RC boat with left stick. Catch a handle of the briefcase with the anchor, uh, then drag it to the pier while avoiding the obstacles. If you get stuck on an obstacle, press X to restart from the beginning. Okay. This doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, come on, Captain. You can do this. Is he going to, how do you make it latch on kind of thing? If I just get really close on this turn, is that how you do it? No. Hmm. This is a wee bit fiddly. Nearly. Try it again. Like that, maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got to be careful. <laughs> As you can see, bashing things is how I. Is how I work. But the physics on the... <laughs> the suitcase. Briefcase. Bit odd. We got it. Nice. We did it. And this is my dad's briefcase. Hurry and open it. Hold on. It could be bad if someone finds us out here. Let's open it in the boathouse. Good call. The briefcase is locked. Looks like a combination lock. Don't suppose you know the code? Sure don't. Then what can we do? Okay. <laughs> but was that a ghost? Is it another D? Or an, an E? <laughs> Have we got an E? <laughs> okay, let's see what sort of code mm. we're looking for. Four numbers. Hey. Four numbers. Let's have a look and where where this <gasps> right okay so 1999 is 20 o'clock to me. numbers that spell my name on a phone then my age how do you know well over here there was that lottery thing oh I know I know I know hold on hold on hold on. let me <laughs> 26th <laughs> lottery winner named. Okay. So 26th, we've got 27, 6, 67 or 87? 87. 27, 87, 63, 30. 27, 87, 63, 30. <laughs> hmm. 27. It's quite slow. 87. 
63 30 Got it! <laughs> Looks like a floppy disk. What's a floppy disk? It's like a USB drive for old computers. They don't really use them anymore. There might be something useful, but I don't know if we'll be able to read it. What's your dad's name? Michael Crusoe. There's a name on the disk. The handwriting's a little messy, but it looks like it could be his. The logo here could be some sort of clue too. <gasps> That's the logo for my dad's company. There's a box. That's a test tube. Maybe he was doing some experiments? It says, water quality test kit. Was your dad's job to test water quality? I don't know. Let's see. There's this stuffed animal. Is this a bunny? It's kind of cute. That's Kelly's. Who's Kelly? My little sister. You have a little sister? Yeah. Let's take this to my dad's place. What for? He's a scientist at JC Valley. Wow. Your dad's a scientist, too. Yeah, and he'll have a computer we can use. We can look up some of this stuff we found. That sounds great. I've always wanted to see a science lab. Let's go. Uh, you should probably keep your expectations low. Is someone in there? That's Dan's voice. Uh, what do we do? He'll catch me. Take the briefcase and hide. Okay. Ashley? Oh, hi, Dan. Why are you hanging out here of all places? Well... The door's supposed to be locked. It was open when I got here. Weird. I wonder who could have opened it. No idea, but it was wide open. Okay, I get it. But what are you doing in here? Looking for my bag. Here? Sure. Here, there, everywhere. It's got my whole life in it. Well, okay. I haven't found your bag yet either, but I will. Thank you. But listen, Ashley, no one is allowed in the boathouse. It's old and falling apart. It can be dangerous, so stay out, okay? Okay, yeah. Hmm? What was that sound? I didn't hear anything. Hey, did you ever find that runaway? No, I was actually out this way looking for him. Oh, yeah? Doesn't look like he's here, though. What will you do when you find him? Hand him over to the police. It's their job at that point. Oh. Okay. We found him in an old house last year. Things got kind of rough. His family came to get him and caused quite the ruckus. They were all shouting at each other. Even the police didn't know how to deal with that one. Maybe he has his reasons for wanting to run away. I wouldn't doubt it. That kid's been through a lot. Like what? Well, let's see. His dad was the president of a resort development company. Resort develop? Crusoe Resort. Went under about five years ago. They bought up the land around here, built the campsite, the cottages, and turned it into a tourist spot. But then, things went south. They went bankrupt after a while. The company's building is still near JC Valley, though. Oh, interesting. This boathouse used to belong to Crusoe Resort, too. It's property of the lab now, though. It's strange how something like a rumor was all it took to shut it down. Come to think of it, when Crusoe started developing here, they tried to buy that old clock tower too, but I guess something on the business end didn't work out. Soon after, that clock's bell told its last. Where's the old house? It's just past the boathouse. Tick, it's vacant now, but a famous photographer used to live there. A famous photographer? Yep, moved here from New York nine years ago. Moved out, what, maybe five years back? The house has been vacant ever since. So what's this rumor you mentioned? What do people say about this old boathouse? That it's haunted. Haunted? Really? It's just the story, but not all that surprising. Why? Did something happen? Oh, it's just... What was that? I should check it out. Matthew, what are you doing?
Why did the clock stop? The family that owns it kept it in working order for generations. But five years ago, the last surviving member stopped it, sealed it up tight so no one could get in. They were getting old as it was. And then, after the incident... What happened? Well, it's nothing. Just an old story. I want to know what happened, but now isn't the best time. That's my phone. Oh, uh, uh, I need to get back. See, Ashley, don't come in here again, okay? Uh, Matthew? Where'd you go? Oh, that's the end of the chapter. That's it. The chapters seem really short. Like, I guess they were in the first game as well, so it's not. I don't know why I'm so shocked. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that might as well do it for today then. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head on to chapter three. In a bit, folks.